He says he's going to resign. There's an investigation taking place. Is that that? I don't think that is that. Uh, the fact is that uh, whilst he has made the right decision now, it's appalling that it took several of his colleagues to encourage him to get to that right decision. And I think there are questions to answer, particularly by Boris Johnson and his whipping operation as to why the Conservative Party dragged their heels for so long in dealing with this and whether or not they actually believed the uh, whistleblowers, the female MPs that brought these um, reports forward. So there are some serious questions to answer. And of course, moving beyond that, uh, once we get past the local elections and the Queen's speech, of course, the, there should be a by-election as soon as possible so that the people of uh, Tiverton and Homerton get the representative that they deserve. Mm. We'll get back to, to the situation, the entire situation and what's happened um, in a moment. But let me ask you about that by-election. It's strikingly similar to North, Shropshire, North Shropshire, excuse me, um, which you took last year. Do you fancy your chances? Well, Liberal Democrats fight every by-election hard. And I think if you uh, look back, you'll know that obviously across the West Country, uh, the Liberal Democrats have a very uh, strong track record uh, in that area. And people have, uh, over the years, voted for the Liberal Democrats as the main opposition to the Conservatives. Uh, of course, you know, um, Liberal Democrats have, have done very well in North Shropshire, um, where we, uh, you know, it was very clear that people in North Shropshire felt taken for granted by Boris Johnson and by the Conservatives. And we know that rural communities more generally feel taken for granted by the Conservative government. So the Liberal Democrats um, will be fighting this by-election hard as we do every by-election.